Good day. We have a student query and this time is on level 1 geometric reasoning. This is how to do a right angle triangle solving the length as well as the angle. This comes from Paul from Palmatanov and this is how the question look like. We have two right angle triangle there, the MPN where MN is 35 cm and MN, MP is going to be 18 cm. And you need to find angle Y. And the second right angle triangle is that we have MPL, where you are going to find PL, or also called the X. And you know that MP is equal to 18, and the angle PML is going to be 20 degrees. So what we need to do, we need to break them down into uh, two different triangles, then we can solve it quite easily. If not, it's quite confusing. So what we're going to do is that we are going to make it M. PL, we're going to calculate X, and then we use MPN to calculate the angle Y. So we have do it down here, okay? So now we have broke them down into two separate triangles. So now we are going to find X. So we look at the first right angle triangle. So this is 90 degrees, this is X, this is 18, and the angle PML is going to be 20 degrees. So what we do, this is a so cartoa or trick ratio type of question, and you need to find angle X. So first, thing you need to do, you need to label the sides. So this is angle, so X have to be the opposite, it's opposite the 20 degrees. And then 18 is called adjacent because it's next to the angle and ML is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the 90 degrees. But because there's no numbers on ML, so we ignore the ML. So we have O and A, so we have to use either SO, CA or TOA. So because there's O and A, we should use TOA. T, O, A, because you have O and A, we should use TOA. So TOA means tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent. That is TOA, okay? So next, we're going to substitute the numbers. So theta is the angle, so it's going to be tangent, 20 degrees, okay? Then we're going to be opposite, which is going to be opposite, which is going to be x. That's what we're going to find. And the adjacent is 18. To solve for x, you just need to multiply both sides by 18, okay? When you multiply by 18, your 18 will cancel out. So your x will be equal to 18 times tangent 20. And the last step you need to do, you put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 6.55 centimeter. That will give you an achieve in the geometric reasoning paper. The second question is also an achieved question, okay? So you need to find angle Y. So you are given angle Y, you need to find angle Y, and MN is 35 and MP is 18. So what you do, the first thing you do again, when you do a straight ratio question, you need to label the side. So 18 is going to be adjacent because they are next to the angle, and 35 is a hypotenuse because it's opposite the 90 degrees. Now you have A and H, so you have to use CA, okay? Because CA has A and H. So the formula is cosine theta equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. So the next step you're going to do, you're going to substitute the numbers. So theta is the Y you need to find, cos Y. Adjacent is your 18, and your hypotenuse is 35. And you put in the calculator, the answer is going to be 0 0.5143. Please make sure that you have at least four decimal place. If you round them up too early, if 5.1, your answers will be very different, okay? So now the last step, if you have cos y, to find your y, you need to cos inverse of that number, okay? To find the cos inverse, it's just you put the shift button in your calculator, shift of cosine, and on top you can see the cos inverse function. So put in your calculator, and the answer is turned out to be 59.1 degrees and I suggest you round them up to one decimal place. Hope you understand trick ratio and see you soon.